To begin draining your Q800R3, you will need a 2 to 3 liter container to empty the water into. You'll also need the blue drain fitting, the coolant drain tubing, and some paper towels. Place the container below the sound enclosure so that water will drain once the valves are opened. On the right side of the enclosure, there are two valved ports, which are connected to two pieces of clear tubing leading to and from the chiller. Disconnect the piece of tubing labeled coolant supply from the sound enclosure. Press the blue drain fitting over the fitting on the end of the tubing labeled coolant supply. This drain fitting opens the internal valve in the white fitting and allows liquid to empty out freely. Quickly place the tubing with the blue fitting installed into your container as water will begin to drain as soon as the fitting is below the level of the enclosure. With the enclosure open, turn the water level adjustment knob to the right towards the plus sign. This drains water from the clear plastic reservoir bag in the enclosure and adds it to the cup. <coughs> turn on the chiller as you normally would for processing. The internal pump will begin to push the water inside the cup and tubing into your container. Once water stops flowing, turn off the chiller. It's important not to let the chiller run dry for more than 10 seconds as the chiller's internals could get damaged. Some water will remain in the internal tubing inside the enclosure. To drain it, attach the drain tubing, which has one open end and one end with a blue quick disconnect fitting, to the coolant supply port on the sound enclosure. Once the water has stopped draining, Remove the blue drain fitting and reattach the coolant supply tubing to the coolant supply port on the side of the enclosure. If any water remains in the cup horn, use a pipette to pipette it out or soak it up with paper towels. Leaving the sound enclosure open will allow the cup horn to air dry. On the back of the chiller, unscrew the clear filter housing with the filter wrench. Pour any remaining water out and let the filter housing air dry. This is also a good time to change out the filter or replace dirty tubing.